Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show, everyone. I am your host, as always, here on the Chance Bishop Show channel and on the Chance Bishop Show live Twitch channel. Link is in the description down below for that. We do try to stream weekly. But today, guys, we have the 2021 All Star game. We are starting off, though, with the Futures game. We have a couple participants, one of them being Jared Kalenic right here. Kalenic, who has made his Major League debut in real life. Uh, recently, so he's doing pretty well. But Clinic starting this game off here with a ground out for the Manners prospects right there. Julio Rodriguez due up second, and Rodriguez unloads on that hanging curveball. Deep into right field, that one is gone. Off of the wall right there. Julio with his 10th home run, I guess, on the season. I guess he has 10 home runs coming in to the Futures game right now, but Kalenic grounds out. Rodriguez decimates the ball here in a Major League Stadium. Emerson Hancock now pitching for the American League side of the Futures game. He's getting the nod here. He didn't get an introduction since, I guess, we quick simmed a bit. Or we quick managed. But first batter he faces strikes out. Second batter he faces pops up to the second baseman right there. You love to see that right there. The 2020 first round draft pick right here. Probably set to make his debut sometime next season. But third batter he faces strikes out. Now starting off the second inning since Jorge Rodriguez or Clank didn't get an at bat between innings one and two. Starts off with a strikeout. Colin Welker goes down swinging. So three strikeouts so far through. Oh, sorry, four strikeouts so far. Through an inning and two thirds. And now, next batter up sends that one to left center field. Center fielder, though, gets there pretty quickly with the catch. You love to see that right there. And you have Rutschman, Jason Dominguez, and the leadoff batter up. So, top of the fourth, here we go. Kalenic leads it off with a pop up to the third baseman, Colton Welker. Four out, number one here. In the fourth inning, taking on Seth Corey from the San Francisco Giants. Julio Rodriguez do up now. Rodriguez hit a home run earlier in the game. Puts that one on the ground. Second baseman over the first baseman in time with the ground out right there. You hate to see that. It's Michael Bush, the Reds prospect. Now sixth inning, Kalenic puts that one on the ground. Snagged by the second baseman again. And it's thrown out over at first. That's still Michael Bush. Jeez, Michael Bush robbing multiple hits this game from Mariners prospects. Julio Rodriguez up now, and Rodriguez puts it right to Michael Bush, who flips over to first in time. American League, though, does take this game right here. You'll love to see that. Rodriguez's home are early in the game. Set the tone as the American League beats the National League right here. The score of one to nothing. Only once run scored in the first inning off the home run. Hancock with the win. But since we have no one in the home run derby, we're going to go straight to the 2021 All-Star game. Yeah, pool hole started off the season pretty hot. Tapered off a lot. Really cooled down going into the month before the All-Star break. Lost his second spot in the first base running for the American League All-Stars. Hate to see that right there since this will most likely be his final season in the big leagues. But taking a look at the starters, Cole Hamels for the Mariners is starting the game for the American League coming into this game with the best record for a pitcher in baseball. Taking on Clayton Kershaw. So early to early 2010s, late 2000s, prime Cole Hamels. He's a pitcher to be dealt with. He is a feared pitcher, you know, the 2008 World Series MVP. We're playing a game. I'm not sure which game it was specifically, if it was a game that's already come out or a game we have recorded recently, but Cole Hamels was pitching, and it goes, Cole Hamels, the 2008 World Series MVP. He's only a couple years removed from that, and I'm just thinking, well, this is 2021. 2008 was uh, a little over 10 years ago. I believe 13 years ago was 2008. 
So to say a couple years removed from the World Series MVP is a bit of a stretch. But that's just my opinion right there as we're going into this All-Star game right here now in Colorado. You know, it's, it's in Colorado now. You hate to see what happened to Atlanta. But baseball made its decision. And here you go. Take a look at the two starters. Hamill's age 37. Kershaw age 33. Both have been in the big leagues for over 10 years. Almost 30 years combined for the two starters. Hamill's 14-3 and 17 starts with a 248 ERA. 120 in pitch. 85 hits allowed to 106 whip. 42 walks under two strikeouts. First batter, Trey Turner. Goes down swinging right there. you love to see that for the veteran lefty. Cole Hamels trying to win himself another ring before he calls it a career. But now second batter he faces. Flies out to right field right there. you love to see that for Cole Hamels. Two quick outs here for the American League. You are leading one to nothing against the National League. Juan Soto up. And Juan Soto puts that one into left center. The left fielder will cut it off though before it gets to the wall, but Soto has himself a head first sliding double right there in the first inning. So definitely not the inning. Hohan was one. He won one, two, three, but Yelich puts that one on the ground, and Hamels will toss that one over the first baseman in time for out number three. So a double, but nothing comes across. Trevor Story strikes out right there on the swing. You know, Story probably in his final season here in Colorado. Putting on a show for the hometown fans. Chris Bryant lines that one to the shortstop. Back to the first baseman in time for out number two. That's what you like to see right there. That's Elvis Andres for the Oakland Athletics playing shortstop right now. And now Freddie Freeman handles face Freeman a few times in his career. Strikes out swinging right there. Freeman gives Hamels the nod right there as, you know, things have yet to really change between the two of them. But the National League unfortunately takes the victory right here over the American League in the All-Star game. American League took the Futures game. National League's going to take the All-Star game. You hate to see that right there. It's going to be a score of 10-5. Five. five runs in the seventh really broke this game.